Amy Schumer is an American stand-up comedian and actress who is known for being pretty controversial. She is so controversial that other celebrities have even shared their dislike of Amy to the public. And those are the celebrities we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the celebrities who tried to warn us about Amy Schumer. Starting off this list, we got Beyonce. After Beyonce released the hit album Lemonade, Amy thought it would be funny if she made a video of her and some of her snatched cast members lip syncing along to it. The video featured Goldie Hawn, Wanda Sykes, and Joan Cusack. Even though the video was released on Tidal, seemingly approved by Beyonce and Jay-Z, it got tons of backlash from fans. Most of the claims centered around the fact that regardless of approval or not, this was not Schumer's work to parody. Some also felt it was particularly tone deaf for them to parody a song about black empowerment. Amy addressed the backlash in an article, admiring how the album brought women together. But Amy didn't address the key issues that fans had, making it clear that Amy didn't understand why it was out of place. Next up, Tammy Pescatelli. Since Amy Schumer has become an A-list comedian, she's been accused of joke stealing on many occasions. Most of the drama took place on Twitter, where Kathleen Madigan, Wendy Liebman, and Tammy Pescatelli all allege that Amy stole jokes from them. Pescatelli was the most vocal, tweeting, quote, What's always been amazing to me is that she purports to be a feminist, yet only steals from other female comedians. If we all call her on it, we are jealous or career shamed. Be successful. We want you to do well. Just do it with your own material. By the way, she blocked me. One of the jokes was from Kathleen Madigan, where she said Oprah was so rich she could hire someone to slap food out of her hand as a weight loss tool. The joke that Amy stole from Pascatelli was talking about how women will dress their boyfriends so horribly that nobody else will want to date them. Amy used this joke in her movie Trainwreck. Next up, Equinox staff. Amy Schumer can be pretty full of herself. She made that clear when she pulled the Do You Know Who I Am card at a New York City gym. Basically, she tried to walk into the Equinox without presenting her membership card, which is standard policy. One employee said, quote, she felt entitled to just walk in. She didn't want to show her key fob and wanted to be able to go in and not be questioned. Apparently, when the employee asked for her ID, Amy replied that she's famous. The source added, quote, It was clear that Amy wanted to go in under the radar and not even stop to have the desk clerk look up her account on a computer. Apparently, Amy was so peeved about the entire experience that she left the gym altogether. Next up, Jackson Murphy. Jackson Murphy, a 17-year-old film critic who took a photo with Amy at the Critics' Choice Awards, tweeted a raunchy caption along with a photo of him and Schumer, and it totally backfired. Schumer is known for her self-deprecating humor, specifically relating to sleeping around. So the critic posted a photo of the two of them with the caption quote, spent the night with Amy Schumer, certainly not the first guy to write that. Even though it was a lighthearted jab, Schumer tweeted back clearly disappointed. She wrote quote, I get it, cause I'm a whole Glad I took a photo with you. Hi to your dad. Jackson quickly apologized once he realized her feelings were hurt, claiming he thought she would like the joke. Schumer later tweeted back, quote, That's really okay, honey. I just remember thinking you and your dad were sweet, and it was just a bummer to read that. Some people felt that Amy had the appropriate reaction, but others felt she was way too harsh on the teen for a simple joke that she makes oftentimes about herself. Next up, Steve-O. While Schumer and Steve-O were on the panel for Comedy Central's roast of Charlie Sheen in 2012, she told a joke that many felt crossed the line. At the time, Steve-O's good friend and collaborator Ryan Dunn had just passed away in a drunk driving accident. Amy's joke was, quote, I truly am no joke sorry for the loss of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me, and I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? The camera then panned to Steve-O's face, and he was not laughing. Fans immediately came to his defense after the special, trashing Schumer. But Steve-O actually came to her defense and said it was a good joke. While well, on the Big J show at KRSQ Hot 101.9, Steve-O said that Schumer asked him for help to calm his fans. Steve-O agreed, saying, quote, Hey everybody, it was a roast, you know, where people say mean things to each other on purpose. That silly little was just doing her job. To this day, she will not apologize for the joke. Next up, Ashley Graham. Like I said before, Amy Schumer is very self-deprecating, and she often talks about how her body is not model-esque. But it seems that she doesn't like when other people put that label onto her. When Glamour magazine included Amy Schumer in the 2016 She Get Any Size issue, alongside plus size stars like Melissa McCarthy, Adele, and Ashley Graham, Schumer was offended by her inclusion. She shared her thoughts on Instagram, writing, quote, I think there's nothing wrong with being plus size, beautiful, healthy women. Plus size is considered size 16 in America. I go between a size 6 and 8. 
Glamour Mag put me in their plus size only issue without asking me or letting me know and it doesn't feel right to me. Young girl seeing my body type thinking that is plus size. Although many understood Schumer's point, some were confused as she constantly speaks about not being super skinny. She even said at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards, quote, I'm like 160 pounds and can catch a D whenever I want. Ashley Graham didn't like the sentiment and clapped back in Cosmopolitan, saying, quote, Amy talks about being a big girl in the industry. You thrive on being a big girl, but when you're grouped in with us, you're not happy about it. That to me felt like a double standard. And lastly, Amy Schumer herself. One fan exposed that Amy is rude to her fans and even caught the whole thing on video. While Amy was touring in Greenville, South Carolina, she posted a photo of a fan and claimed that he was harassing her to get a photo. The caption said in part, quote, This guy in front of his family just ran up next to me, scared the shit out of me, put a camera in my face. I asked him to stop and he said, no, it's America and we paid for you. Apparently she asked him to stop multiple times, but he did not. She finished off saying that she was no longer going to take any photos with fans because of this guy in Greenville. But the fan, named Leslie Brewer, responded with his own Instagram post. He posted a video of his interaction with Schumer, and it was very different from what Schumer described. And in the video, Amy is calmly asking him to delete a photo of her that she didn't like. In response to this video, a source shared, quote, She's always hated taking photos with fans, even before she had a TV show or a movie. She couldn't be bothered then, and she can't be bothered now. After this all exploded, she said she will still take pictures with fans only if she feels like it. So that's all for the list today guys, please let me know your thoughts below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from Mine and Bree's video on Rare Medical Conditions Part 2. So Tony D said, endometriosis, it's horrible. So yes, when referring to Gabrielle Union, she actually has something called edgenomyosis. So it's not endometriosis, I understand it sounds similar and you guys think I'm just saying it wrong. No, it's actually like endomyosis. It's totally different. Uh, I think they're very similar, but they are different. Then Melanie Kruger said she actually broke down like the definitions. Adenomyosis, I still keep saying it wrong, uh, which is endometrium, inner lining of the uterus, grows into the myometrium, muscle of the uterus, and then endometriosis is the endometrium growing excopically outside of the uterus. So that's the main difference. And then obviously endomyosis, whatever I said, doesn't exist, but uh, very similar. Adenomyosis. I said endomyosis. Then Neville G Gamer said, when you said Billie Eilish, I thought she was going to mention the Tourette syndrome, but that's something I didn't know and it's very interesting too. Yeah, I had no idea about that other Billie Eilish when I heard about Tourette's sees shapes. Like that is so crazy. I mean, I bet people watching this video, you maybe have that and you weren't even really sure it was a, like a condition until now, but uh, crazy that people have that sort of, I guess, synergy. I don't even know what that would be to see shapes, hear colors. I forget what Brie exactly said, but very, very cool stuff. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way here, if you liked the video and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.